By now you should have a saved file with a few bars of music in it. If you haven't saved yet, please do that now. The details are all in the last video. It's very important because in this video we're going to be slicing and dicing some data and you don't want to panic in case you accidentally delete everything. In fact, I recommend that you make sure your score is saved and then do not hit the save button again until the end of this video. That way, if it all goes pear-shaped, you can just close your unsaved file with all the mistakes and reopen the old file. So now, let's learn some basic editing. Some of you are probably thinking, oh no, what is Thomas doing to us? We barely got the hang of input, and now he's throwing some complex operations at us. Well, don't worry. Actually, I'm going to show you how to think like a busy composer who just doesn't have time to waste on inputting every note. The operations are as simple as text editing in a word processor, but are even more intuitive to a musician. Let's start with a single click on one note, like this last B. As we've seen, this turns the note blue and puts it into what I call edit mode. Not only can you edit this single note once it's selected, but you can also add things to it, like say, a symbol, or maybe a hairpin. Once those objects have been created, you can select them as well. Look at this tiny line here anchoring the hairpin to the note. That means that the two objects are linked and can be edited together in different ways. Now let's learn to delete, since we don't actually need these two objects. It's as simple as you could want. Select the object by clicking on it, then hit your delete or backspace key. Note how when I deleted that hairpin, Sibelius automatically reselected the note so I could enter some other object in case I made a mistake. And, as you probably remember, you can deselect by hitting Escape or just clicking on the blank page. Well, actually, you can also select a note, then jump from note to note in edit mode. You don't have to deselect every time. There's an even more comprehensive way of selecting, called Select Bar. If you click on the bar itself, then you get a blue highlight. This means that everything in the bar is now selected. You could move all the notes up or down with your arrow keys, for instance, or make them all sharp or flat, or make them all tremolo, or <laughs> um, undo all those changes at once. More importantly, you can cut and paste the whole bar and save huge amounts of time inputting repetitive music. Let's do that now. Take a quick look back at your hard copy of Greensleeves. As you might have noticed, the next couple of bars after where we stopped are identical to the first two bars of the beginning of the song. So why bother inputting them? Let's get back to our file and select the pickup bar. Then, hold down the shift key and click on the last note of the second complete bar. Now the whole passage should be highlighted in blue. Don't bother with the ribbon controls, just do the standard keyboard copy shortcut of Command C or Control C. Then click on the last rest of this bar here and key in Command V or Control V. Bam! There's the next two bars, saving you a minute or two of input time. Now, let's delete that, since I'm going to force you to re-input it note by note in a couple of videos. Oh, stop grumbling, you'd love it. Just hit delete, and the notes disappear, but the passage stays highlighted. Sibelius is giving you a reference point of what you've just edited, so you know where to re-enter notes after deleting. There is an even more powerful type of selecting, copying, and deleting, called Select System Passage by the Sibelius developers, but which most users just call Command Click or Control Click. Command Click is an executive type of operation, which selects not just the notes in the bar, but the bar itself and every object attached to it. But with great power comes great responsibility. If you delete in Command Click, you literally delete everything. In the case of this first bar, titles, tempo, composer, time signature, even Sibelius's way of recognizing what type of score this is. So use it wisely. As far as your score is concerned, it's a potentially lethal weapon. So let's use it now, carefully, to clean up this piece a little. As you may have noticed, Greensleeves is only 16 bars long, not 80 like on this piece of staff paper. Let's get rid of the excess bars now. It really helps that Sibelius automatically numbers your bars for you. On my A4 sheet of paper, this bar is numbered 19. If you're working with letter size paper, it's probably numbered 20. Go back up to the end of the previous system and count backwards. 18, 17. Command click the 17th bar. It should now be highlighted in purple like this. 
Now scroll down to the bottom of the page and shift click on the last bar. Now the whole selection of unnecessary bars is selected and ready for deletion. So get rid of it with the delete key and you're left with a much more manageable number of bars to work with. If it all looks good, then this would be the right time to hit the Save button, or just Command S or Control S on your computer keys. That was some intense information. Let's take a little breather with the next video and play around with editing some text.